Hi, Mark Diaz here for 3DAnimation101.com. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create the effect of putting a layer inside another layer using the masking tools. So far, we learned how to use the marquee tool or any of the masking tools, right? I can select an area, create a new layer by clicking on the new icon in the layers panel, and then just take the brush tool and draw inside it right? I know that I cannot draw outside that region and that gives me some advantages, right? And then to deselect that, I can just click on the marquee tool and click on an empty space. Then I pick the selection tool and I can move that layer, right? And we also learned that I can take that marquee tool, select a region, right? Select a layer and if I press in this case, in this case, I selected the house. I just press Control J, and now I have a new layer, which is an extract from the house. Let me select the transform tool, and now I have this part. Okay, so so far we know how to do that. Now, in this lesson, I'm gonna show you another trick, which is how to put a layer inside another layer. Let me show you what I mean. Right now. I have the marquee selected and I'm going to create a mask right here, a selection. Okay, so I'm going to put the circle, I'm going to put it inside this space. Let me tell you how. Well, very easy. All I have to do is select the circle and click, without layer selected, I just click on this very powerful button, the masking tool this will create a mask. Let's create it. And now this circle is inside that mask. Let me take the selection tool. I can move the whole thing like this, right? I'm moving both the little selection I created. Let me use another color. This little selection and the circle. I'm, I'm moving both. I'm moving them. Look. But one interesting thing is when you click on the unlink button right here that will separate the mask this is the mask and the layer let me click on it and now I can click on either the mask or the layer let's use the mask first I'm gonna click on the mask and I can move it ah very interesting you see I can move the mask or I can select the layer and I can move the circle inside that square. You see that selection. And of course, the, because this layer right here, the circle is made of pixels. It's not, a, uh, as you can see, this layer right now is a vector. The rectangle is a vector. And the circle is an image. It doesn't have that little square. That means it's an image, it's pixels. When you have pixels, you can transform it and make it smaller and even smaller and still have everything in order you see now you cannot do that I'm gonna hide that I'm just gonna click on this little eye and that will hide that layer just to show you a quick example and I'm also gonna hide their triangle to explain something with their rectangle that thing I did with the circle I cannot do it with vectors this is a vector Remember, this is the little icon for the vector. If I try to do the same thing, let me select this area right here with the marquee tool. I'm using the marquee tool. And I'm going to just, with the rectangle selected, I press on create mask right here. And now I create the mask. Of course, I can unlink and move the mask. I'm using the transform tool and I can move Actually, it's very confusing because <laughs> both uh, have the same shape. So this is a bad example. Let me best use the, the triangle. I did the same. I just select the triangle, click the mask. Sorry for that. And now let me create a, m a mask. There you go. And now I can unlink and move the rectangle, right? Okay. So, okay, this is very easy to understand, and I can also move the interior. The only difference between images, 
the image of the circle and the vectors is that if I want to scale this, I cannot scale individually only the vector. It scales the mask with it. Okay, that's the only disadvantage. So if I want to do that effect of uh, having the same control, I'm hiding the triangle and showing the circle. If I want this same effect of being able to m make this smaller, I need this one to be an image. So if I want to do that, if I want to do that with a triangle, just transform this into pixels. How? Right click, oh, I mean right click here and rasterize the layer. Now I can transform the triangle, make it smaller and move it inside separately without having the mask scale with the triangle, okay? And I can rotate, I can do whatever I want. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, let me undo all of that. And now I'm going to show you how you can put a layer inside another layer. What I want is to put the circle inside the, well, actually, instead of the square, inside the triangle. Well, let me show you how. All I have to do is create a mask from the triangle. How? Instead of using the masking tool, I, of course, I could use the polygonal tool and then create this shape, right? And create that triangle, obviously, <laughs> more with more care. But if I want to be very precise, I just, I want to deselect that. So I select the marquee tool and click on an empty space. So if I want to do that, all I have to do is go to the layers panel and then I control click on any image I want. Okay. In this case, I'm going to control click on the image for the triangle. Control click. And that creates a mask from that layer. You see? Now I can select the circle and click on the create mask. Ha! Now the circle is inside that shape. <laughs> but, but right now the circle is behind the triangle. So let me bring it forward. And now I have this effect. The circle is in front of the triangle now. And I can unlink. Remember, just click on the linking button right here. I unlink it and I can move the circle and now this gives me the effect of having a layer inside another layer. Now why would you want this technique? Why would you want to be able to put a layer inside another layer? Well, let's take a real case scenario, this one. Let me delete the two layers I created. I just select both with the transform tool and press delete. And now what if I have this background and want to put it inside this black square. Well, first, let me select the house and I'm going to create, I'm going to extract this little part, this black hole. With the polygonal tool, I just click, um, click, 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 and then I close the shape right here, then Control J. And now I have this part. Now I can put this layer inside that one. How? Well, very easy. All I have to do is I can select the inside of the house, which is this layer in the workspace. And in the layers panel is this one, the one selected. I select that one and I press control click on this layer to get the mask right here. I just control click and that creates that mask, you see? And now I can just, with that layer selected, this one, the indoor layer, I just have it selected and click on create mask. Ah, now this layer is inside the little square. All I have to do is click on the linking button, select the layer. I can select, remember, I can select either the mask or the layer. I select the layer. And I can move it. Ah, now it's inside. And I can make it smaller. Okay. Even smaller. And I can adjust the size in any way I want. 
and so I can have a layer inside another layer, okay? Very interesting. Okay, now you know two powerful things you can do with the masking tools. You can draw inside a shape, you can extract parts of a picture, or you can put a layer inside another layer. Okay, that's it for this lesson. Now, in the next one, I'm going to show you another trick of how you can use masks to add texture to your drawings, okay? That will be covered in the next lesson. See you there.